My name is Rhett Butler. Not the Rhett Butler from the movie. I'm the real one. People ask me all the time what I mean when I say that I play obsessive compulsive guitar music. It all started way back in the year 1987. I got my first guitar for Christmas when I was 12 years old. I took a few lessons to start out, but mostly I pursued it at my own pace. I loved listening to Van Halen, and so by the time I was 15 I could play just about every tune that they had ever recorded. I was most fascinated with how Eddie Van Halen could stand on stage in the middle of his concerts and just play solo guitar. And so I never started a band or joined a band in high school. I just worked on playing the guitar by myself. In those same years, my family was going through a really tough time because my brother Ashley was going through his second bout with brain cancer. Today when my sister talks about all of the stress that my family was feeling, I tell her that I, I don't have any recollection of it and she says it's because I was always locked in my room playing the guitar. And then when I was 19 years old and a sophomore at the University of South Alabama, I saw a performance by an acoustic guitar player named Billy McLaughlin. He was able to perform over an hour of instrumental guitar music by himself on a stage, and I was completely enthralled by it. It was made clear to me in that moment that I had found my calling. So in the fall of 1993, I transferred to the University of North Texas and enrolled in the jazz program. There I spent the next four years of my life trying to recreate the sounds I saw Billy produce on the stage. I often argued with the professors about how to play the guitar. See, they had no way to teach what I wanted to do with the instrument. So when I graduated in 1997 and I was out of the conservatory, I was refreshed and renewed, and I was able to pursue the guitar again on my own terms. I set out to conquer the world one coffee shop at a time, and I started taking gigs at Starbucks and then later on at Barnes and Nobles. And it was in these places that I really learned to perform. It was also there that I came up with the idea to play two guitars at one time because I wanted to get people to stop and watch me play. Then five years ago, my brother Ashley got sick again with another form of cancer that resulted from the radiation treatments that he received as a baby. And it turned my world upside down. I had no idea that my music was tied so closely to the trauma that our family had been through with his bouts with cancer. And since we lost him, I can hear his voice in the music. It's the gift he gave me to share.